Do you sell real estate, manage property listings, or represent an agency? If so, building a website is essential for your real estate business success. Welcome to Hostinger Academy, and today we will enhance your business's online presence by building a professional looking website with Hostinger's very own website builder. Let's get started. No matter what you do in the real estate industry, a trustworthy persona is essential. Without one, it will be difficult to gain clients trusting you with their investments. And for that reason alone, a real estate website is an absolute must. It helps with everything, marketing, reputation, authority, and even networking. Luckily, making one is quick and easy. In this video, we will show you how to build a real estate website that can look sleek and professional like this. To get started though, we'll need to pick a platform and we've got one in mind. Hostinger Website Builder is the perfect tool for the job here since it's one of the easiest ways to make a website. In fact, it was designed specifically for beginners. So if that sounds like you, no worries, you'll be able to launch your site in no time by letting AI do all the hard work for you. Get started by clicking on this link in the description and choosing your plan. The Business Website Builder subscription is perfect for a real estate website as it comes with over 150 designer made templates and full AI functionality. And best of all, by purchasing the plan for one year or longer, you'll get a domain name for free. Once you've added your plan to the cart, choose the subscription length. For the best deal though, pick the 48 month option and enter the discount code WB10 for an extra 10% off your purchase. Now, all that's left to do is fill in your login and payment details. As soon as the payment has been processed, you can start building your real estate website. Now enter the website builder's onboarding process. It will open right after you've registered your plan. Then click start creating to have our AI generate a website for you. If you'd rather go with a template, you can choose from over 150 designer made templates. For this video though, we'll be putting the AI to work. First, enter your brand name. Try picking a catchy name, preferably something related to your business. Then choose business showcase from the website type drop down menu. Next up is your description of what you do. For the best results, be as detailed as possible here. You can also adjust the personalization settings over here. Just pick the style and implement your own color palette. And don't worry, you can always change it later too. When you're ready to continue, hit create a website. If you like what you see, you can customize your site by clicking edit site at the top right corner of the screen. Now for the fun part, let's customize your website further. And just like that, most of your real estate website is already complete. It's one of a kind and should already have all the necessary sections. Okay, now let's add some pages to your website. For a real estate website, having pages for individual listings is essential. Let's go over the process of adding one. Begin by choosing pages and navigation from the left sidebar. Then hit add page. You have a few options here. First, you can start from scratch and add a new empty page. Or you can let the AI assistant do all the work for you. Hit the generate page, provide a description and click create a page. The description should include the page's purpose and what you want to include. Editing a page is all drag and drop. Just drag any website element to adjust its position just like this. Want to get rid of it? Then hit the trash can icon and you're done. And if you want to customize it in more detail, simply click the edit button. You can use the options and sliders to adjust the elements look and feel. So don't be afraid to experiment. To add a new element or section to your page, press the add element button on the left sidebar. Just choose what you want to plop in on the page and that's it. Then you can edit it just like any other page element. Try adding a gallery or video element to make the listing pop. You can also include the contact form in there. This way potential buyers can contact you right away. Another thing you could do is integrate a map into the listing page. It's super easy to do so. Just scroll to the area of the page you want the map to be in and click add section. Then scroll down using the menu on the left. Click map and choose the integration you want. Once it's on the page, select the map element click edit map and fill in the property address. Now go back to the pages and navigation and add the other pages that are essential to a real estate website. About and contact should be at the top of your list. Make them from scratch, generate them with AI or choose a page template from what's available. It's your choice. It's also a good idea to create an umbrella property listings page and add new sections with links to your individual listings. You can make them stand out by including key visuals and descriptions too. 
to make each section link to the respective listing page add a button element. Then select it and click edit button to change its text and where it links. Now, if you want to make sweeping changes that apply to your whole website, just choose website styles from the left sidebar. The colors tab contains a list of all the colors used on the website. Click on the one you want to change, hit select and choose a new color. Then when you click accept, you'll be able to see the changes immediately. Changing fonts is similar too. Simply click on your current font scheme to edit it or choose another from the list. Then choose the heading and paragraph fonts. Keep in mind that website styles also allow you to adjust your site's buttons and animations, so you can play around with the options as you wish. Oh, and don't forget to edit your website's mobile version too. A lot of your visitors might be using their smartphones to browse your site. To see how it looks on mobile, just click the switch view button at the top of the screen. Now you can make edits to the mobile version of your site without affecting the desktop one. Now it's time to take your real estate website a bit further. Let's give it some extra features. How about a blog section? It's a surefire way to increase your authority and drive traffic from search engines. A blog on a real estate website can feature diverse articles on market reports, real estate investment basics, tips, advice for first time home buyers, and of course, company updates. Lucky for us, creating a blog section is super easy. Just go to pages and navigation, click add page and choose blog from the list. Then you can edit the blog page's name and link and hit save. By default, you'll already have four placeholder content pieces, so simply hover over one and click edit post to make some changes. If you need help writing the post, scroll down to the section saying my post content and click it. Then choose AI writer and write a detailed description of the content that you would like to see. Click create text and the AI will generate the post for you fast and easy. Once your content is good to go, scroll to the top of the page and hit post settings. Here you can change the post title, description, URL, author and date. If you want to manage your blog, simply click the blog icon on the menu on the left. Here you can add new posts, edit existing ones and manage drafts and categories. If your goal is to maximize your blog's usefulness, post regularly and include real estate specific keywords into your articles. And don't worry if that doesn't make sense just yet. We will go over search engine optimization in the next section. But before we do that, there's one more thing. If you want to get in touch with your customers quickly and easily, consider integrating WhatsApp into your website. The process is quick and simple. You can check out an article on connecting WhatsApp for a full guide. There are many more integrations for you to add to, but for now, let's talk about SEO. These days, most people looking to buy or rent will begin their search online. If you want them to land on your website, it's important to optimize your real estate websites for local search results. If you do SEO right, you'll boost your visibility on Google and other search engines. And that means more website traffic and more conversions. First up, Keywords. Use tools like Google Keyword Planner, Ahrefs, or SEMrush to identify keywords and key phrases relevant to your business. Focus on what people might enter into Google when searching for properties into your area. Then include these keywords sparingly throughout the website. Remember setting up your blog? Yeah, blog posts provide great opportunities for targeting keywords, so include them into your articles. This will be an excellent first step to getting noticed on search engines. Okay, next, optimize the metadata of your pages and posts. This information doesn't appear on the site itself. Instead, it communicates to search engines what your content is all about. This is easy to do with the Website Builder's SEO Assistant. First, open it up by choosing AI tools from the left sidebar and clicking AI SEO Assistant. Right from the get-go, it will show you which pages are A-OK -okay and which need some work. Just click on the page you want to make adjustments to. This panel contains an example of what your page will look like on search engines. Ensure each page has a unique SEO title and meta description. Ideally, they should include the relevant keywords naturally. As soon as you make changes to any of the fields, just scroll back up to see your work in action. And if you want more SEO strategies, check out our video with 15 SEO tips to improve your website's traffic. Once SEO is all sorted, we can finally launch your website. Okay, there's only one thing left to do before going live and that is connecting the domain name you registered earlier. To do that, click on the temporary website address at the top of the page and choose connect your own domain. Check if the domain name you want is available. 
If it's already taken, consider an alternative extension. Finish the domain registration by filling out the required fields with your details. Now that your real estate website has a new domain name, go back to the builder and press go live. And that's it. Make sure to announce your website's launch on social media platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn to get your first visitors. Congratulations! With an online presence, you're ready to stand out from the competition and boost your business. Make sure to keep working on your website, add new listings as soon as they become available, and write regular blog posts to improve your business. We're curious about your website building experience too, so leave a comment and let us know how you liked it. If you enjoyed this guide, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Hostinger Academy's YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.